They are so small. Today, we're taking a look at the Assault Kingdom, Volume 5. Taking a step back from the usual gunpla kits, we're going to look at these awesome trading figures. They sport some awesome articulation, a decent amount of accessories. They all come with stands. You can actually combine all the stands to make an extra accessory for any Assault Kingdom. Now, I reviewed the first set before. And I've gotten a couple, but this is the first full set that I've had in a while. Now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to do all of the articulation in one go. Let's look at it. O Gundam. For the O Gundam, the head can somewhat look up and down. There's no tilt side to side. It can go around 360 degrees. The shoulder armor can move a little bit like that. The arms can go up that high and go around 360 degrees. Swivel below the shoulder and can bend at one point, but that's pretty far. Peg for the wrist. Waist can go back and forth only that far. And all the skirts are made of a soft rubber and the back skirts do not move at all. Legs can kick forward that far out to the side for a crotch copter oh they can they can also go back that, that far yeah just just so you know swivel at the thaw and single jointed knee but can go almost 180 degrees and cool rockers and can tilt down that far and can only go up that far Axia! The head can look up, look down, tilt side to side, go around. <laughs> it can do that. Yeah. Shoulders can move only like that. Arm can come up that high and go around 360 degrees. Swivel below the shoulder, single jointed elbow. But look at that range. Peg, wrist, body, copter, crotch copter. Legs can kick forward that far, kick back only that far. Swivel at the thigh in a single jointed knee. But like I said, that range though. Hey, ankle rockers, guys. Look at that. And the foot can come down like so and go up like that. Chicken! The head can tilt up and down, tilt side to side, and go around 360 degrees. The shoulder armor can go up and down like so. Arms can go up that high and go around full circle. Swap at the shoulder. Single jointed elbow can only go 90 degrees. Pound it, peg. Calm down. Peg. Wrist. Waist can only go back and forth. Like so. Just like with the other two. Has soft rubber for the skirts. And there is no back skirt. The legs come forward that far. Come back that far. Kick out to the side for the crop copter. A cool rockers. And the foot can pull forward like so. Come down that far. And come up that far. Now, Zaku The head can tilt up and down. No tilt side to side. It can go around 360 degrees. Shoulder arm on the left arm can move in and out like so. Shoulder armor on the right arm can swivel like so. Both arms can come up that high and can go around 360 degrees. Swivel below the shoulder, single jointed elbow, peg, fist, body, copter, crotch, copter, save, soft plastic skirts legs can come forward 
that far, come back, only that far, swivel, at the thaw, single, jointed knee, and cool, rockers, and the foot can pull out like so, point down, only that far, back. Now that we've seen that sweet articulation, let's look at some accessories. The O Gundam comes with one beam pistol, one shield, and one beam saber. The Exia comes with the GN Sword Gun Mode, one beam saber, one beam dagger. Zaku 2 comes with one Heat Hawk, one Zaku machine gun, and this awesome anti tank rifle. It even comes with this extra head, and it's got a commander friend on it. If you wanna, if you wanna put it on the uh, on that instead of the normal head, but I like the green Zakos to have the the normal instead of the commander friend. I need to get the set with the with the uh, Char Zaku so I can put yeah. So uh, yeah, so it's got that, and uh, so. <laughs> the Jagan has one beam rifle, one shield, one beam saber. Vroom vroom motherfucker! These are all the stands connected together to make a semi truck. Yeah! I hope these niggas know that I'm the greatest semi truck ever. <laughs> so, yeah, that's volume 5 of the Assault Kingdom. And I probably should collect more of these. But I'm more busy collecting the gun block because these are great little desk toys. I like that they added the inclusion of the beam sabers. Only thing is, they do come molded in one color. But a little bit of red paint or pink paint or whatever you like your beam sabers colored will fix the job. If you don't have these guys, I recommend you pick them up because they're cheap and they're fun to just play with and not really worry too much about breaking them. And that's about all I have to say. So, I hope you enjoyed this review. Please like, comment, and subscribe.